This is what my game sounds like. In this devlog series, I will share my thoughts on how I made sound design and systems in our indie game Wispline. For this specific video, we will focus on the basics of sound design by discussing topics about audio listeners and audio sources, and how I implemented these systems in our indie game Wispline, a reverse RPG game where you place a wisp who can transform into different monsters to fight human invaders exploiting your island home. Let's begin! So, just to give a clear goal for this Unity tutorial, we'll be discussing and learning multiple ways to make our audio listeners. And by the end of the video, I will share some techniques I made to make the best audio listener system that fits our third-person reverse RPG game. First, we'll talk about what audio listeners and audio sources are. So basically, audio sources are game objects that produce sound. You can assign a sound file to this and have it play. You can also set the sound on loop to continuously play it. For example, this river flow sound effect that is playing in a loop. Or this ambient sound of crickets chirping at night time. Or this stormy weather sound effects with heavy rain and wind and occasional lightning sounds. The possibilities are endless. There is also a feature for audio sources to take place in 3D space where you can hear the sound depending on the position you are in with the audio source. Just like this fire that we can hear on our right speaker pad. Since the audio source is on our right, there are also other effects that audio sources have, but we will not be talking about them in this devlog. We will just focus first on the basics. And the basics starts with the ears of our game, the audio listener. So a basic requirement to play sounds in our game is to have an audio listener. And in a 3D game, most of the time the audio listener is a game object that is placed on our camera or on our player. For first person shooter games, the audio listener is easy to set up. You just have to place the audio listener game object on our camera which is the eyes of our player but for a third person shooter game where we see our character it's a bit tricky it's not ideal to place audio listeners to our camera since there will be a desync with the position of our player and the sounds that we are hearing just like this one even though we are near the fire we can barely hear it and as the camera gets closer to it even though the player is far from the fire the sounds of the fire seems to be too loud so to fix this We'll put our audio listener to our player. Most likely, we place our audio listener game object on the position of our player's head. Now let's test it. As you can see, or hear rather, when our skeleton gets closer to the fire, we can slowly hear it. But this has a problem. When we turn the skeleton around, our audio listener will also turn along with it, making us hear the opposite pan since the sound is in the perspective of the skeleton. The sound that we hear would be correct in the skeleton's perspective, but it feels disconnected with us the viewer since the fire is on the left of the skeleton, yet we hear the sound from the right. So to fix this disconnect, we simply make the rotation of the audio listener game object independent of our skeleton player. You can simply make this by making our audio listener game object as a billboard. So this is my billboard script. What this does is have the game object always face the camera regardless of its parent rotation, which in our case is our skeleton's head. Now let's test it. Now as we approach the fire, we can hear the sound clearly getting louder. Now let's rotate our skeleton player. Now we hear the sound play in the correct speaker pan relative to our view. Alright, next problem we have for our audio is this. We have multiple characters to play in our game, and we switch game objects from time to time depending on the situation. One example is this. If our skeleton player breaks, we will shift from the skeleton player who currently has our audio listener attached to it to the wisp who doesn't have an audio listener. So the easiest way to do this is just to have two audio listeners, right? Wrong. This will have cuts in our audio when we transition to different audio listeners. Let's hear it. One more time.
See? It doesn't sound good. It breaks immersion and we don't want that thing to happen. So to fix this, the goal is just to have one audio listener. Then we'll have this audio listener follow the position of an audio listener container which we'll be placing at the current position of our audio listeners in our characters. Then when we shift players, we just simply shift the target audio listener container, copying its position, making a smooth transition and avoiding issues with audio cuts. Now let's test it. So right now, the audio listener is following the target container which is located in our skeleton's head. Then if our skeleton breaks, just like this, the audio listener shifts its target container to the wisp. We can do this vice versa, and the transition is smooth with no issues at all. Alright, if you have questions about this topic, feel free to comment down below, or you can directly talk to us in our Discord servers. I'll leave a link to our Discord down below. Also, I'd like to thank my patrons for supporting the development of Wisplight. In our next devlog, we will tackle how we manage our sounds by creating a sound manager that manages our sounds and music. Till next time.